Hey everybody, welcome back to my show. This is back, welcome back to Happy Accidents. I'm your host, I guess I'm your host, Sleepless Illustrator here, coming at you with another video. And I uh, got a real cool one for you guys today. Um, I'm going to be drawing a one of my favorite masks from, uh, I don't know if you guys have played this game, it's called Manhunt. Uh, it's by Rockstar Games and it came out... Uh, I want to say 2000-ish. It's a pretty old one, guys. And it's like way... You wouldn't even believe, like all you young people in you know, the graphics, you, you wouldn't be able to believe that we actually play games like this. But honestly, it was really cool. And just to give you some background on the game, it's actually a explicit game. It came out around the time. It's very very similar to uh, 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 Grand Theft Auto, I was trying to say. Uh, GTA back in the old days. And um, yeah, it was... Uh, it's a scary game, of course, great scary game. It's a stealth game, actually. You play as James Earl Cash, and you're you're about to be executed, but you're stopped by um, what this this man who uh, he's a director and he di directs snuff films. So he puts you he he pays off the cops to stop off your execution, and you're uh, basically playing the game as a, a snuff film. Your your certain chapters in the game, and this man is filming it for his own sick, twisted pleasure. You know. It's like a black market of like, you know, videos where people get murdered. Anyway, I don't want you guys getting too much into the idea, but really cool game, really scary. And um, yeah, I thought you might draw one of my favorite masks. Uh, the, the, in the game, there are gangs that stop you, uh, stalk you, sorry, stop you, you know, that too. But they stalk you throughout the, the game. And one of my favorite was called the Smileys. And they're part of a, a gang in, the, in an insane asylum, which is really cool. A lot of them have different you know, personalities to it. So, but I, I'm going to get into the drawing right now, guys. So, um, without further ado, uh, thank you for joining me for another Happy Accidents uh, episode. And let's get right to it. So, I'm going to actually be doing this on Photoshop because I'm going to be doing a kind of a kind of interesting drawing with this. So, bear with me on this. So, let's see. Let's going to do a new, new file. And I'm just going to do, let's see. Um, so 8 by 11 and then I got my stuff set up here guys you know I've told you this before you know however you want to go in inches um, it depends on when you I always prefer inches just because I know what kind of size 8 by 11 is kind of your standard um, kind of standard office paper resolution you know 300 is always pretty good I mean I, I'm thinking about upping it at some point but I've always used 300 and it's never failed me so we're gonna create that by the way guys I got my another Dunkin Donuts pumpkin spice lattes for the uh, theme Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Keep me going. So, first off, guys, I'm just going to be drawing the mask. I'm not going to be drawing anything too fancy. So, I think it's kind of cool if you guys have been, you know, been familiar with the game. Um, all right. So, I think that's the best in the surprise. So, without further ado, let's just get down to it. I'm going to select my brush. So, first, I'm just going to be drawing, drawing a basic head. Just, let's just get that in there because I'm not going to be bothering with that. And it's actually, believe it or not, it's a hockey mask, guys. Oh, by the way, guys, if you get this, I'm going to be making an announcement um, at the end. Because uh, I was originally going to draw something else, but I'll tell you later. So you'll have to stay tuned for the announcement. I had a really cool idea, so but let's just get this in. I'm gonna make that. Oh, I can keep. I'm, I'm gonna be doing. Think of this as more of like a graphic design kind of project, guys. So, uh, let's get. But basically, his mask is just a hockey mask, and the smileys, their gang of. Uh, I'll explain it in, uh, what I'm drawing. Is that they're a gang of psychopaths, what they call them, hunters. In the game, they stalk you, and basically out to kill you for Stark Weather's pleasure. Sick bastard, but hey guys, when I'm using sketchbook, I'm using the uh, space bar. Sometimes I forget, but basically, yeah, I mean, it, it is like a hockey mask. Well, it is a hockey mask. Well, actually, it's it kind of, and I say kind of because the graphics you can't really tell, but yeah, it's basically this 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 gang. They're wearing like hockey masks or things. It looks like they they've flashed it themselves, so. But uh, this is gonna be kind of kind of cool, guys. When I want to finish, so 
I just want to get, I'm going to add a little bit of personality to this mask, but let's get in the hockey mask, the hockey shape. So I'm just drawing in the eyes. Kind of give him a little bit of a tilt because, you know, I know you think like a hockey mask, you know, it's just a basic hockey mask. No, but it has some personality to it. And actually you do the same principle, guys. Eyes. Eyes going across eyes in the middle of the head. Even on a mask, guys. So. We'll all get the, uh, his mask has the little buckle side. I'm really excited about this, guys. This is one of my favorite games. I love stealth games, guys. I love anything with, like, sniping, stealth. You know, you take down enemies quietly. Funnily enough, I'm not really a big fan of, like, Metal Gear. I've only played a few of those, but, you know, my, my friend always gets me really, really like, Metal Gear. You know, that game's just too long to, uh, long to uh deal with all the cutscenes stuff but I get rid of some of oh you know let me say I'm gonna save it always have a file save and I'm gonna save this under let's do I was just saved to my desktop and I'll move it later but just as long as I have it and then I could just uh, hit uh, control save constantly just in case if things freeze up you know Always a hassle. You see me guys where my, my, my thing just kind of freezes my Photoshop. I got a I don't know what issue. I'm not, I apologize for that guys because I don't know what. I've looked it up several times and I'm trying to figure out why it does that. So just bear with me. But the reason I'm using Photoshop is because I want to be able to get some pristine I'm not just drawing here guys, I'm trying to get some uh pretty cool lines going, so let's So let's go. I'm gonna add a little bit of in the game they don't really have much because it looks like it's just kind of a face mask. But let me show you. It's um, I'm gonna get the nose in. Oh, cool. But then there's some mouth holes. It is basically Jason's mask. Um, but that's okay. Not copyright nothing. I'm going to get a few more. I want the, no, actually, you know what? This guy's... I, I'm going to go buy the graphics on this. Let's just... Uh, actually, I might as well make this announcement now. No, no, no. Let's just stick with this. Sorry, guys. Let's just stick with this. I'm going to be drawing... Because the mask it looks looking too much like J Jason Voorhees, guys. And unfortunately, this isn't the smileys. Even, uh, I'm going to fix it. This is mask right here. It's a little bit more rounder. Just some dense. Keep the eye holes though. Make them look mad. I'm gonna shorten them a little. But I recommend this game, guys. A really good game. And it's a smiley. But this one's is my favorite, guys. It, and the one, one his mask uh, actually says, "Please stop me," and I'll add that later. Uh, I'm assuming in blood and things like that, but. Either a gang, in this game, they're just at a sane asylum. And it's kind of a, I swear to God, guys, games back then had so much personality. Because even every gang, every character has its own. Um, and I didn't notice as a kid playing this game. But they did, they have some kind of personality to it. Like this guy in particular, he, uh, he writes, please stop me. Because like he doesn't want, he wants someone to stop him from killing again. Something like that. And then there's a guy who thinks, there's a guy who thinks like you're his wife or you're his husband. He calls you Barry and he just like, you know, oh my God, it's like, you guys, I swear to God, it's the funniest stuff ever. You know, I can't believe that this was actually like a thing, but you know, when you're a kid, you don't care. You're a young, you know, young boys, they don't care. But it's such a fun game. 
I'm like, you know, it's funny, you know, guys. I was, I was just thinking of this today. I was watching uh, a thing from. Do you guys remember Demon Knight? I'm sure some of you probably are familiar with that. And Billy Zane plays a demon. It's it's, it's actually I think it's from Tales from the Crypt and kind of an interesting movie. And I've always find it so funny that a movie like this you can watch. It, it's kind of stupid. But at the same time, it's good because, you know, people back then actually had to work for a living. I swear to God, I have to, you know, I know you guys don't, probably don't listen to me when I do politics and stuff. But I'm telling you, like, actors back then, you know, they used to work even when they were doing something stupid. You know, they knew it was people were, wasn't going to be like, you know, Avenger, Endgame status. But it was still good. I mean, I guarantee you guys, you know, that's just kind of what most of my friends and, you know, what we grew up with. with you know, we just watched stuff. We didn't care. We didn't care if Daredevil... You know, our Batman back then was supposed to be popular. You know? We just didn't care. And I'm going to do this shit. If there's time, guys, I will color out. Because it's a yellow mask, and I like to actually do that. But I'm just going to turn the opacity on this. And then another layer of stew. Well, back to what I was saying. What I'm saying is that you play games like this, or you watch movies like this, and you think... Yeah, it's ridiculous, but it was it was good for its time. You know? I'm gonna use the pen tool guys. I have to do a lesson on how to do this guys, but pretty simple really. I thought this is why I wanna get this this really cool shape. In fact I use this to create a lot of my own. You're all familiar with I used this to do a lot when I was working on this uh, um, medical journal for my friend. She commissioned me to, uh, she's a biology student, so I was doing a bunch of little drawings for her, for her book to, you know, illust illustrations for her. That was a fun project. I worked out a lot during COVID. That's, that and my combo kept me from, you know, unaliving myself. Just, just kidding. People don't like to say I'm just joking. <laughs> Alright guys, I made through COVID pretty good. I hope you all I had family and friends and I was living alone at the time and you know at the time it gave me time to work on my book and, and you know I, I told myself I I don't mean to get off on a tangent guys, but when I was doing COVID, I said to myself, you know, because for the first two weeks I was just playing video games because I thought, you know, and just like everyone else, you know, yeah, for two weeks I thought, you know, it was gonna, you know, that was gonna be it. But like I said, you know, I'm gonna do this to do the do the mass of shape. But anyway, what I was doing is just you know, I said to myself, you know, whether whether regardless if I have to go back to work, you know, I've been putting off this book. At the time I thought I was gonna be moving to Texas and that didn't happen, but at the time I thought to myself, as long as, you know, I got time I was gonna have a book, my comic book ready to go, and I was determined to have it have it, you know, regardless of if we ended up all going back to work in two weeks, five weeks, whatever. I want to have something to present. Then, yeah, lo and behold. But anyway, I'll get back to my other topic in a minute. But I really want to delve on this guy. So, you guys, you know, are not sure where to start. And I realize that this is like the main problem with a lot of people this day. They don't know where to start. Actually, let me get back to my point about just, you know, like I said, Billy Zane, if you guys don't recognize him, he's from Titanic. Uh, that's probably his most iconic role. And he plays like a demon. He plays a demon who's looking for this uh, this guy who has, I think it's like the blood of Christ in a canteen or something like that. And he can use the blood to like deflect the demon. And like I said, it's just the dumbest movie ever. But I highly recommend it. It's, it's good. I was literally just watching a clip from it this morning. I'm thinking, God, what an amazing, you know, like he's just like playing a, a uh, you got to see it's like totally ridiculous. It's not even like too scary. It's just kind of ridiculous. One of those movies, and then, like I said, you know, there's a lot of heart into it. So, and even then, it goes back to what I'm saying, guys. Don't be afraid. Just put your heart and soul into something, and people will respect it. I'm telling you, even if it's ridiculous, you just never know. I guarantee there are plenty of actors who did something who wanted to, you know, do something good in case somebody was watching. You never know a critic or somebody that you know. You never know who's watching. Well, that's my advice on that. And that's the same thing that I did with my book. I wanted to have something. It even comes back to that. I wanted to do something good regardless of, uh, you know, we went back from COVID. 
Not only did it keep me busy, it kept me going. But I ended up with my first, my, my real, my, my first, you know, really should have me and my friend finally, like, I got to the store. Because the thing is, I was, our first book we did was just, like, our guys fighting, nothing really. Not that I'm not proud of it, but it, it was just more of a, like, I like to do stories. Like, everything's all about the orange story, guys. Now, I've explained stories. It's really hard, you know, when you're new, your character's not established and you want to tell people what your character's like, so... Yeah. You gotta start somewhere. But I got like a basic origin story, not full on, because there's still more to the story to tell, even in the origin. But, uh, that's cool. So, but anyway, I digress. That's it. And I'm just going to blacken the eyes, guys. No need to, uh... Because really, it's just the mask. It's just the guy's, you know... Eyes are looking through. Anyway, back back to the game. This game is... Uh, my brother-in-law gave it to me. I my sister was so pissed. And I swear to God, it was one of the greatest game I ever got, guys. It's... Basically, whew, back in the day, guys, I mean, I don't know if you know and understand, like, there were... It was a big deal for games back then to be like, you know, uh, you know, Grand Theft Auto games like that came under controversy. You know, I've always been honestly, I've never, I've always been kind of on both sides of the debate because like there was, you know, I don't want to talk about, you know, I can't talk about this on my my channel, guys, because I don't want to get banned about the the let's just say violence that's going on, violence in video games. You know, I mean, it's always an ongoing debate, and I don't want to get too political. This is just for fun. But this game was at the center of it. You know, this game and Grand Theft Auto, you know, games like this are always, you know, that depict violence. And, uh, I don't know. For me, you know, I always feel like people are responsible for their own actions. But these days, people just get, get crazy ideas. So, I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I know you probably think, like, I'm this, you know, I, I find it, I, I, and I have this conversation with my mom all the time, guys, that we need, as artists, we need to be responsible for our creations. I ask my mom all the time because, because you know, I'm always asking you know questions about morality and things like that. And it's true because you know what? Think about it. You know, I mean, if you draw, that's why I try to be careful with my characters because one of my characters does like he does assassinate like political figures. That's kind of where my comic book lies. And one day I'll be able to tell that story. But that's what I'm saying. You know, do I want to create a book that make that you know people read and think it's okay, even if it's part of the story? Because we all have politicians we all want to, you know, get rid of, quote-unquote. Come on, we're, you know, we all have people that we wouldn't mind, you know, like secretly deep down. But that's that's the thing, guys. I mean, if anybody could do it, then, you know, anybody thinks it's just a file, then I don't want to be like that. You know, I don't want people to think that it's okay. It's just a book, guys, you know. The bad guys are the bad guys, but the thing of it is, guys, is that the bad guys in the comic books, we already know who the bad guys are. And even, not always, but for the most part, you, know, you can read a Batman comic, or you can read, you know, Superman, you know, yeah, that's the bad guy. You can tell he looks like a bad guy, but in real life, guys, bad guy can be your best friend, could be your mother, you know, these days. I mean, so, sad but true, but that's what I'm saying. You know, back then, we know who the bad guy is. In fact, you know, what kind of turned me on to this idea was Punisher. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Punisher Warzone. And uh, Ray Stevenson, God rest, God rest his soul. You know, may he rest in peace. Um, let's do a little. I'm gonna do a little. Uh, I'm gonna add a little something, something. Just add a little shape to his hero. But yeah, he played the Punisher. Have you guys ever seen the movie? Yeah, a little outline. Yeah, let's just give him a little. But yeah, he plays the Punisher, and he accidentally shoots an FBI agent who was undercover, you know. And that's the first time I realized, like, yeah, even the Punisher, you know, even though he's wiping out the criminals and stuff like that, occasionally there's some casualties, and, you know, even he didn't know, but still. And it's pretty, you know, that's actually kind of a cool point, you know I mean? that's Believe it or not, guys, the Punisher is actually meant to be an anti-war character. I mean, I read that, that um, I believe that's what... Uh, uh, what's his name? John Ramita and all those guys kind of made him out to be. I think it's bullcrap. I mean, I, to me, I've always felt like, you know, it's cool. That's what I'm saying. They're taking out the trash, you know? 
But we all have to be careful because we all are responsible for our actions, regardless, guys. I mean, I promise you that. That you know, when you when you, whatever you believe in God or whoever, I believe in God. So, but you know, He's gonna judge you or whoever's gonna judge you, and you know, you can't say that. Oh, I was a video game made me do it. You know, <laughs> and I hate to say it, but it's true. So I implore you guys: you are all responsible for your actions. So. What you do in life. Okay. Better smiling. See, we're about 20 minutes in. And what? I, you know, I gave up on trying to find a... I gave up on trying to make these videos as short. You know, if you guys get through this entire videos, bless you. Bless all of you. It's, uh... I'm just gonna try. But what was I? Did I get off on a tangent? I'm sorry, guys. What are we talking about? Demon Knights? I think I made my point there. Yeah, just. You know, things are just a lot better back then. I think everyone says that. But no, seriously, I, I just think today, you know, people have to, have to, have to work for a living. But I, I, I don't think that it's lost. I just think it's lost among mostly Hollywood. I just think Hollywood in general, guys. Not you guys. I know you're all out there working hard and kicking butt. You know, trying to be better. That's what we're all trying to be. You know? Little details. details. We're all just trying to be better. Just gonna add some... The strap here. And add a little bit of shading. A little bit of brokenness. Don't worry, this most is gonna be black. So. A little bit of shading. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Pumpkin spice, just kicking my arse. some blacks wherever I can Cause remember guys this mask has a shape to it a little bit of a round shape actually this one's kind of flat in the game but there are guys who wear hockey masks just like Jason I mean the game's heavily made but I'm just this is still gonna add shape to it you know so I thought it'd be a really cool idea to try to you know for people who haven't heard this game because this is a really good game guys it's funny they, they, the opening thing kind of sounds very similar to like uh, the uh, opening theme to Halloween. Oh, I guess. It's good. I don't know, guys. I think I like the uh, the Dunkin' Donuts one. So far, that's been my favorite. My friends disagree. They all like Starbucks, but yeah, it's okay. I mean, I like Starbucks, but I got it last week, and I wasn't thrilled about the blended. I got the regular, whatever, non-blended, I guess, when, when I went to Horror Nights. His eye. His eye. I'm going to smile here. Oh, guys, I want to mention, like I said, that every, every project so far for this series, until further notice, is really going to be about... Um, these are things that you can all, to, all, all do at home. If you guys are inking at home, on your computer, or on your... Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, if you're just drawing... Same, same principle, the only difference is, guys, is that I can turn off these layers, but you're just basically either going to erase them at, at some point, or, you know. And I told you guys, if you didn't, haven't figured it out, uh, this is going to be a Halloween, this is a Halloween theme. Um, I got a lot of projects planned. Um, I actually wanted to do something, guys, for 9-11. I, I, I do want to speak out since this week was 9-11, the anniversary of 9-11. Um, I'm not going to do a project for guys, I don't, I don't feel like my channel... I don't think it's appropriate, um, but I was old enough for 9-11. I was in uh, L.A. at the time. I was living in L.A. I won't digress where, but 
Um, I was not in New York, but the war on terror and everything that I grew up, I, I grew up with all that guys in the 9-11 of course, you know. Um, no politics, I'm just doing a little shout out for them. Um, I'm just doing a little shout out, and that's all. Uh, I didn't want to do a project, so I don't, I don't feel like any project would have been appropriate. Just That's just me, guys, so, yeah. Um, but it's okay, you know. Well, it's not okay, but I mean, you know what I mean. It's, it's a little withered on the mess. But uh, I do want to say something about that, because, you know, I, I grew up during this time, and it was, let me tell you something, guys, it was a scary time. You know, threats everywhere, the world in shambles, I mean... I was very young to kind of understand what was happening, but I still had an idea, and I tell you guys, it was the first time I learned about evil. That, that, that's what inspired me about my work, guys, because I imagine there were a lot of, and when you guys read my book, you'll understand, but I had a lot, I, a lot of influence on, on, from 9-11. That's really when I learned early on as a kid what evil was, guys. I'm not going to single any groups, you know, if you guys are familiar with the attacks, but, um, you know, people just going to work. And I watch footage of the planes all the time, and I'm telling you guys, every time I see those planes hit the tower, I, I, I just get goosebumps. So really, just the first time I learned about evil. And originally, I wanted, honestly, guys, I wanted to be a soldier. I wanted to go and fight. At the time, I was too young. I was uh, 11 years old. I was born in 1990, guys. So I was born, like, right on the dot. So 9-11, it was 2001. Um, yeah, I was born... Right around that time. I mean, I was born in but that that's when I was happening around the time. And then, you know. And not only that, guys, I, I saw for years how we just bickered. We weren't to, everyone didn't, you know, everyone thought Bush was a moron or Democrats were morons. You know, nobody knew how to really run the country, so to speak. So, I, ha I hate to say it, though, I've been, I've been trying to be a beacon of, like, you know, Ever since, I mean, I, I'm a very political person, guys. I, I don't know if you go. I'm a very conservative guy. Um, I'll maybe I'll do a video on that one day, and it, it does influence my work. But uh, you know, this isn't political. I'm just telling you guys, like, that just you know, that's just where I'm coming from. But even then, at the end of the day, guys, I prefer to talk with everybody. But some people just don't want to talk. And then, like I said, you know, 9/11, we united for a few years, guys, and then the war on terror began. And people just, I don't know, people over the years have just lost their minds. I, I don't know. In this day and age, it's just things have been, I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm a peaceful man. I'm not even a hunter, guys. I, I don't believe in believe in hunting. I, I, I love guns and things like that. I love to shoot. I don't believe in hunting. I think, unless you're going to eat the animal and use it all up, that's when I believe. You know, if you're going to use it, you know, mount on the wall, take the meat and things like that. Just don't waste the animal. You know, that's all. That's my only gripe about hunting. Uh, but I'm not an anti-gun person. But like I said, there are people who just, you know, these days just can't come together. Anyway, I don't mean to get all... But, you know, this is just, you know, my work. I, the, the, you know, at the time, guys, I'm not very, like, lit up. I mean, I'm not very... Uh, I, I wanted to, to fight. But by the time, you know, college came around, I was really, you know, studying my, my art. That's what I wanted to do, you know? And I thought that's the best way I can do. I can do work of art for maybe, I don't know, the military one day or something like that. You know, I've applied to jobs, you know, you know, never really worked out. But still, I wanted to do something. So, while I was in school at the time. But my work wasn't there yet, not like what it is now. Then again, you know, like work, everything nowadays. Is... Yeah. So this mask, we're doing some, I'm going to get back to this. But anyway, like I said... 9-11 this week, um, I'm not doing a project, I just wanted to, to give a shout out for that and just let's say hey for all those who had to deal with the aftermath, you know, I'm saluting you with my coffee right now, so that's all I can do. But uh, yeah, no politics guys, no politics that day. So, anyway, sorry to press you guys, but you know, there's some things I need to be said, you know. You know, life is, you know, we're all adults here, and all of you kids out there, you know, who don't understand, it's all right. We're all here. Even Rob Ross, you know, tells on issues like this, you know, but 
He always tried to make the world a happy place. And that's all I want to do, guys, you know? I want to be remembered for the guy that, you know, always, like, put a smile on people's faces. And I'm not saying I'm going anywhere yet, guys, but if I ever, you know, something like happened, I want people to say, like, Tom, he was that kind of guy that always tried to help, you know? I always try to help when I can, whoever I can. I think I was talking, it's funny, I, I was talking about the last video, my buddy over there was asking about the person I helped. And, yeah, I helped somebody just recently, you know? Help when you can, and I hope you guys will do the same. That's what I want my work to do, because not just for your job. I mean, and I told you guys over and over again, you never know what your work, maybe I'm inspiring somebody today, maybe you're inspiring someone today. You never know. And my friend Jaster inspires me, you know, and then I turn inspire you guys. You just never know. I always like those videos, guys, of like, was it Jay Jetty or something like that? I saw one where the... My favorite one is the is the little Asian girl who wants to get a cake for her grandfather, and they can't afford it. And then a young a young gentleman buys them the cake, okay. buys them the cake, and then you know all he tells the little girl you know it's just to do something you know nice for somebody. Cause some uh, someone did the same thing for him. You know his mother, as a kid, couldn't afford a, a cake or something like that, and a nice man bought him the cake. And it turns out it's the old man, the same old man who you know he gave him a note or something like that. I'm telling you guys, be a good person. Don't get into drugs, sex, and alcohol. And you know, try your best to be a good person. You'll live a happier life. Trust me. There's nothing out there at the clubs. There's nothing out there at night. You know. There's nothing out there in places like that where you're not supposed to be. That's why I don't do those things, guys. I mean, I've always, you know, been to places like that to try to meet girls and things like that. But you know. And I mean, I was young, guys. As you get older, I mean, I'm not that old, but then as you get older, it's like, you know, you just, you see things differently. I don't know. I, I don't, I really don't know. I mean, I just, it's not my perspective. I've always kind of had a different mind. I think that's just where I'm built. I think that's where my intelligent lies, guys, is that I think differently. And I'm not trying to brag about it. I'm just saying that most people are book smart. It takes me a long time to understand things, guys. When I'm at my other job, you know, I have to look and see. I deal with a lot of paperwork and vendors and things like things I have to make sure I have, I have to check. When I'm, you know, it takes me a long time to kind of, and some of my coworkers, like, they get mad at me because I was like, like, how do I do this? How do I do that? And it was like right there in front of my face. Most of you know that. It's just how my mind is, you know, like, it, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. It's not, you know, you know, intelligence is kind of a, you guys may have it because you may think differently. That may be like your gift right there. For me, it's like I've always thought differently. I've always felt like kind of like an alien, even when I'm talking with my friends, you know, because they're, my ideas are very different from them, guys. You know? So, best way I can explain it. Just to get me over this little. But yeah, guys, you may be smart, but you're different because you think differently. I was always kind of answering questions differently in, in, in school, you know. That's just how I am. And I'm only telling you this because this, this affects my work. This is how I see my work, you know. My work is very, it's whatever is on my mind. This is what was on my mind today. You know? my, my buddy was actually joking. He keeps, he, it's funny, I introduced him to this game. and He was driving me crazy today. Sorry, Mike. But, you know, we had work too. But no, no, I'll just keep saying no, no, but uh, he he likes the the smiley uh, dialogue, and he just kept playing in my head. And I'll tell you the story because I was planning on drawing Jason, but I'll I'll make the announcement right now that I'm, I'm planning on drawing Jason for Friday the Thirteenth. So just so you guys know, I'll make that announcement at the end for all those of you. You know, that's why I didn't want to do a hockey mask, guys. But the mask coming out pretty good, guys. Just say. So it's just basically like a chewed up mask. I think, because remember, these are guys like, this is from an insane asylum. In the level you play, it's, you're at an insane asylum. You're dropped off and you have to figure out, and then you have to do certain things to get out. So. But you want to give, let me tell you something, even if you're drawing a mask, if you notice I'm giving him like a little bit of a personality in here, you know? That's what's cool about it. You know, these kind of drawings, guys, because I'm not trying to draw the mask, you know? Because in the game, 
these characters have all personality all to themselves. Like I said, this one, there's one guy who thinks like you took his shoes, you know. But the thing about, I know it's stupid, but like, it's a like I said, it's 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 a, you know, an insane asylum. You, they're trying to figure out what these guys would be babbling about. So, it's actually a kind of clever idea, you know. If you're the kind of person if you're gonna do a game like this, that's what I'm saying, guys. You don't see it in games, and like, I play most games nowadays, and they're all just kind of like. Go with the flow stuff. They don't, you know, some, some, you know, would argue, you know, my friends would argue, like, yeah, there's, like, a little personality to it, and that's okay. But to me, like, when you're playing a game like this, you just don't see anymore, you know, the details that you put, you, you'd see. Like, if you're playing Grand Theft Auto, guys, you have to kind of pay attention, you know, otherwise you're not going to understand what's going on, in my humble opinion. I think. You know, with most games nowadays, you, you, you younger kids have it easy because everything's explained to you. When I was playing games like Max Payne and things like that, you guys actually had to pay attention to the game. I know, right? And I'm not trying to insult you guys, your intelligence or anything like that. I'm just telling you, like, games back then used to challenge. Be very challenging. No. You know, and I'm not challenging. I'm actually saying I'm not challenging, like, hard. I mean that, like, let's say, like, Grand Theft Auto had a good story to it. And I had a hard time following. If you guys ever played the original Vice City, um, I was trying to figure out who betrays you, and it, it, they don't really tell you who. You know, not not straight up. You kind of have to figure it out. You know, who betrays you in that game? So things like that. I'm just. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going off on tangents. This is just how. Like I said, this is just how my mind is. You know, I go from one thing to the next, and if you can't follow this, you know. My apologies, but. I'm kind of a rambler. But I think that my things my work has a lot to do with like what's going on in the world, guys. Either it's an escape from what's going on or it's an enhancement of what's going on. Not enhancement, but it's it's like reflecting on what's going on. Like I said, I was thinking of doing a, a tribute for 9 11 because 9 11, you know. But like I said, it's just I don't think it'd be a good taste right now, especially the way the world is right now. I don't want anything I, I don't want anyone being upset. You know. And, uh, I'm going to do another life. I'm going to cheat here, guys. I get a fill in the black suit. Yeah, screw it. I'll just... And I'll show you what I'm going to do later, guys. I'm just filling this all in black because I don't know. thing is, like I said, guy, this is just spontaneous. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with this. So, I will be adding some red. Hello. Oh. You're in. Yeah, 40 minutes. I mean, the basic drawing is already in, guys. So, once you get the mask in, yeah, you can put as much detail as you want cracks in the mask, you know, blood. But we have to put this guy. This guy in particular has a mask that says, Please stop me. I guess his character, like, meaning, like, please stop me before I kill again. So. Kind of cool, uh, but the, the guy in the dress, I swear, he's, there's a guy in a pink dress. He think he's the one who thinks that you're his, his husband. <laughs> and he's calling you Barry, 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 Barry. All throughout the game, it's freaking hilarious. It's funny, at first it's like you guys think, yeah, it's annoying, but it's really funny. But the other games, let's see, there's... In the beginning, you play the hoods, which are just guys in, like, e mask and basic guys who are just out to just beat you up. They don't really have much weapons in the beginning. They have bats and crowbars and something called a uh, a blackjack. It's like a small bat, like a baton kind of thing. But and the thing is, when you play this game, guys, is that you play it by executing the the hunters. So you sneak up behind them. You can beat them up, but it's 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 hard to beat them up. And if you're cornered by a few, then they will. It's it, they most likely will beat you, you know, to the ground. So the best thing is to just to do stealth kills. You can, you know, if you have to like resort to violence. What you do is you play the game. That was my chair. So you play the game, and then you're given you the weapon. You have to use a weapon. There's no, you know, you can use hand-to-hand -hand combat, but you can't perform an execution without a weapon. And I might add, guys, they made a sequel to this game. It was actually pretty cool too, but um, they censored the kills. So, so what happens is you sneak up behind the character, and you have to hold a button, usually like X or something like that. And then there's an icon that appears, and it'll turn. It starts out gray for a regular kill, and you can just immediately do a kill. And then it'll turn yellow for like a mildly, you know, violent execution. And then if you hold it long enough, 
it'll turn red, which is the most violent kill you can get with you. So each weapon has three kills, so it's kind of fun to do. I don't know, I don't know it's some people, but you know, it's all a fun game. I know you probably think I'm all crazy. Hey, this game was pretty popular, and it's it's actually banned in several countries, so there's a height of controversy back then, because, you know, back then, you know, people weren't used to this kind of stuff. Even in the 90s and early 2000s, guys, I mean, guys, like, like games like Call of Duty, I mean, really, Call of Duty, people forget that Call of Duty started out as a uh, World War II game, if you can believe it. Yep. Mostly, like Captain Price, I think is even in it, but they don't, they kind of ignore it. I think the the, the basic story. Not hundred percent sure. I never played that. I always played Medal of Honor, but I didn't start playing Call of Duty till the first Modern Warfare. I played Counter Strike, so. But uh... hey, you guys, this is probably one of my best drawings yet. This is more of like a graphic design piece, guys. That, that's kind of why I envisioned this. I found a really cool reference um, of a hockey mask, of a, just a basic you know, drawing. That's kind of where I'm, I'm coming from, this one. So. Uh, I didn't want to draw the full character. Not tonight. Actually, I kind of got distracted this week, guys. I finally got the... Um, I had my ceiling fixed in my office so i didn't have access to my office on monday i had a repair guy come in he did a great job by the way but all day i didn't have access to my computer so i was mostly just on my phone you know and i did some drawing but the guy was here the whole time so and then i had to clean up my office and get you know clean up most of what he you know because he didn't you know really not his fault but you know that i put my office back together and make sure my computers were safe because i swear to god guys I have my office was it's from the rain damage. Um, we had a bit of a storm here in LA. So thank you, Hillary. Hmm. But anyway. So I should get back to the drawing. Anyway, guys, if you've been following me, like I said, uh I'm gonna be doing uh live streaming soon. I have that planned out. And I'll be announcing that soon. Uh, when I finally figure it out. No, but I'll, I'll be announcing that uh, very shortly. Probably expect it, guys. I'm probably going to be doing happy accents all through November. Um, at least till November. And we'll kind of see where we're at. I'll see where I'm, you know. People are liking the series. I think, you know, you guys are kind of enjoying it. Here are 42 minutes. Too bad. Alright guys, I'm just, this is the tedious part of the project, I'm just trying to get the background in. I always get that little bit of a background, some kind of like, if you guys are ever drawing a character like Black Widow, uh, Iron Man or something like that, and you draw him just like, just like this, where like, let's say you draw his head or just half his body, always add something in the background, guys, it always gives a little bit of shape. You know, if it's a scary character, just add some blood, you know, makes all the difference. Oop. Makes all the difference to add a little... Black Widow, I did a drawing of her. I mentioned her specifically because what I did is I drew her and it was just kind of like, I drew her up to her legs. Like that's when her legs kind of disappeared. I did this drawing for my sister and in the background I did a big um, drawing of like her, the Black Widow symbol, you know, in the background. just to, And then I just covered it in red. Um, but yeah, I always add something like this. That's why I didn't want to add just the mask or something like that. I'm just, I'm just coming this in black because I envision this black right now. And then I'll see if I can add something, a little bit of a, just some texture to it. You know, it doesn't have to be anything, just kind of random. This is more like a graphic design piece. Like, I imagine this was going to be, like, on a shirt somewhere. And I was going to see if I can color this real quick, so. But I will be adding red. Yeah, I have to add red for the please stop me on his mask. But yeah, always add something to the background, guys. Don't, don't ever leave. The backgrounds are really important. You know, they really give distinct shape to the, uh, to the character, especially if you're not drawing a whole scene. Because this can make for a t-shirt, guys. You do a drawing like this, you do a t-shirt. You do a t-shirt or um, just a drawing that goes up on your wall. So just add something a little. But it, it adds, it, the thing is it adds, um, it adds personality to the character. 
So if these people don't know who you're drawing, and remember your work, you know, some people always have an idea, oh, like that's a superhero. Most people are familiar with superheroes or whatever, or a certain character, you know. Like if you're drawing Superman and he's just like posing there, like just his head and half his body or something like that, draw a little, draw a little American flag or oh, all that. Yeah, draw American flag, draw, you know, maybe a little city behind him, you know. Just to give it some idea, draw a metropolis behind him. If you're drawing Captain America, I don't know, maybe draw a little tank, you know, behind him, just kind of cover him half. And I'll do an idea on that, but that'll be for another time. Drawing Michael Myers, you know, draw, draw a big-ass kitchen knife in the back. Think of that, guys. Or maybe you can draw in, uh, you know, do something like that. Or draw the shape because of the, the triangle. Oh, that's even better. You know, that little symbol on his, on his hand, the triangle. So, that'd be dope. But always help your fellow artists, guys. That's what I'm trying to do here, guys. I'm just trying to share, you know, I'm not famous. I'm not... I admit my channel's probably <clears throat> I'd be lucky to get like a few hundred views. Less than that, even a few or a hundred subscribers. And I'm trying to figure out ways to grow this channel to get the word out to spread spread my message, guys. That's all I'm looking to do. You know? Whether you guys see it or not. <clears throat> I hope so. I hope everyone, you know. I think we made the circle around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, guys, my art teacher said, I asked him once what was, <clears throat> what's the point of being an artist? And he said to spread your creative message. So, and I'm saying it to you, and he passed away, God rest his soul, uh, during COVID. Wasn't, I, don't, I don't believe it was during COVID, I think. Uh, I mean, I don't think it was because of COVID. So. Um, Yeah, there was. There's no nose on this mask, so. So just make sure you're just shading it out. There you go. Whenever you have black spots like this, guys, always have some kind of like outgoing to kind of signify that there's. Uh, you can think of this like a hole or something like that in the mask or whatever. That little cross hatch and get the mask some depth. Let's see. Uh, let me think for a second. Let me add a little bit more. Didn't hear that, guys. I'm on the side of the street here, so. My buddy always like complains he hears like when we're gaming, you know, I live on the street. My my place is on the street, so to speak. So not that you need to know that, but if you ever hear a car passing by, hopefully I don't think so. My view is uh oh, some loud jerk off stupid car. No offense if you guys like those cars. I like cars, but you have such loud cars you can't even think until they pass you, you know. Am I alone in this regard? I mean, I like cars, guys, but these guys just, like, sweep up their cars, and I swear to God, they're, they're going to kill someone one day. Anyway, my... A little bit more... All I'm doing, guys, is using the lasso and holding shift. And then... Add some more shapes to it. And then when I hit G for the buckets, okay. Ooh. okay, let's see. Let's add a little. I'm feeling, you know what, guys? I'm going to add a little. Uh... 
Let's add a little. I got an idea. Let me double this layer. This doesn't work out. So I got an idea, guys. So what I'm gonna do add my eraser. What I'm gonna do is hold shift to do a straight line. Oh. Whoops, had to save a little lasso. Oops. No, oh, whoops. I messed up. Let me see. Yeah, if you guys are not sure, always make a copy of, you know, just in case. Let me select this with a wand. Stop doing it. And you want the wand to look at. Let's see, I'm going to. I want to create like a tape because it's in this, in this game, guys, the tape. Um, It'll be a cool effect here. It's all about the tape because when you make these kills, when you kill that, it goes to like a special tape. All right. Play the game, you'll see what I'm saying. Like if you guys are too young to understand what tape is, I'll just do this on the bottom. Maybe I'll get the. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, so just gonna create we're just now creating some details. Just kind of create the fuzziness of a video tape of yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for, guys. Ooh, that looks pretty dope. Yeah, that's cool, guys. Cause see how like it's supposed to look like tape, like a videotape, like the edges, you know, the little fuzzy white parts. Let's see. Uh, what else can we? And let's do a little. And then let oh I got blood. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, now the PS that are stones. Let's add a little bit more color. This one should be easy, guys. The mask is kind of a bright yellow. Can make my brush huge.
There we go. You guys are for a treat tonight. You get to see some color. Put this a little. Might and we'll just do uh let's kind of feeling no that's oh, I always had a little interesting. I mean, it's kind of a red, red strap, like a belt strap to his head. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's just. I don't need to do too much detail, but let's just. Uh... This up. I'll try to finish this in the next few minutes, guys. Well, this video's going a little long, longer than I thought, but yeah, we can't rush good art. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. That's all right. You know what? There we go. Okay, fix that. All right, fix that. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. I'm going to do some release. I want it again. And I'll explain these over a little bit. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm just gonna offer a little bit of shine. Oh, whoops. Not gonna do too much details, guys. I'm just adding it quick because I gotta finish this up. Um, oop. Let me send a little bit more. Now,
for the moment I've all been waiting for. Actually, I'm up to this. Let's do this. Uh, I don't want that. Pass it back up. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see. I got probably written in blood. The <laughs> That's kind of cool. More, a little more blood stuff. Never more, more blood. You guys, wouldn't this look cool on a T-shirt? Well, and there you, go. there you have it, the Smiley's face mask. So, yes. Oop. There you have it, guys. Ain't right in it. Oh, I don't want it. There you go, guys. Thank you for joining me for this tonight. And, uh, like I said, I will be, in the next couple of weeks, be doing um, Friday the 13th. So I hope you guys look forward to that. Uh, I can't wait to do that. Oh, actually. Little. Sorry, right, guys, I forgot. A little bit more. That's weird. Hmm. Just add a little bit more uh, tension in the buckle. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this last video. You know what I mean, guys? I can never freaking fit it. Okay, I'll stop. I promise. <laughs> okay, guys. So thank you for tuning in. I'll show you the last few. There we go. Oop. Wrong? All right, guys. <laughs> see, I guess see what I'm telling you. Art never takes a never takes a rest. So thank you for joining this video. I appreciate it. Subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends and family. And uh, yeah, keep looking forward to this new, these new videos. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be drawing uh uh. I'm going to be drawing Jason's mask. I haven't decided I'm going to do the full, uh, full thing because I've already kind of done this mask, but we'll see you guys. I'll, I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be drawing that uh, when we get towards our Friday the 13th, which I believe is in October. Uh, a few weeks in October. So I, I saw that and I had to get on it, guys. So anyway, peace out. Have a good night. Have a good day. And uh, yeah, take care.